After allowing the uh, solvent blended vegetable oil to settle for a few hours to a few days, I then uh, draw off uh, the sludge at the bottom of the tank through this valve, which is at the bottom of the tank, and, uh, and hopefully you'll be able to see a dark, thick fluid will come out first. And as you can see, it's dark and it's thick. And so far we've got uh, a liter or a quart of sludge coming out. Looks like it's going to be more than a half a gallon or two liters, two quarts. Still coming out fairly thick and fairly black. Ah, now it's lightening up. It's fairly amber colored now. So that was three quarts or three liters of, or three quarters of a gallon of sludge that I drained from the bottom of my 20 gallon or 80 liter tank. You can also see that the half gallon container or two liter container that I extracted the sludge from the bottom of the tank, uh, that sludge is very black. No light is transferring through it. And it's pretty thick. It's kind of, it's, let's say, Maybe thick as molasses. Okay, so now after processing the tank of fuel, I empty all my traps and filters for processing fuel. And uh, I also empty uh, the uh, last batch of sludge that's been settling. And what I want to do is pour off the top of the sludge containers any uh, relatively clear amber liquid off the top. And so here's one of my sludge containers from the last time I processed fuel. And I'm interested to see if any amber fluid's on the top. And yes, indeed, there's a fair amount of amber fluid, if you can see that. Maybe what I'll do is I'll give you a closer look. Fairly clear amber fluid pouring off the top of my glass sludge container. And last time, three quarters of the fluid was amber. Now it looks like we're going to see the same thing this time around. And I'll just keep pouring until I see a dark stream come out. And that's almost all amber. Relatively clear amber. Oh, they just started running dark. That's only this much sludge. After only the short period of, uh, of settling, let's say after about a, an hour of processing and uh, fuel and putting things away, the uh, sludge containers that I accumulated from this process, which are uh, roughly a quarter or a liter for two traps each plus a gallon and a half from the bag 20 inch bag filter plus a gallon from the 10 inch uh, big clear that I use as a sight glass and then there was also two half gallon containers or four liters uh, that were left over from the last batch of, uh, of sludge that I would uh, extracted from the last batch of fuel so out of all that and uh, with some set you know a little bit of settling oh and and pouring off the top uh, the clear liquid from my two sludge containers from the previous time, which only left about a quarter of, uh, of a container full of sludge at the bottom, I ended up with a total of a gallon and a half or six liters of sludge that will sit around uh, settling until the next time I need to process a tank of fuel. 
and from that, you know, I'll pour off the clear stuff off the top. And so far, uh, only a quarter of the container actually ends up being sludge. The rest of it ends up being processed as fuel. So this container is almost full. It's probably a four-gallon container, and it's let's say maybe get three gallons or uh, twelve liters of of you know dirty um, uh, waste vegetable oil blended with gasoline that's just going to go back in the, con in the tank and get processed with the next batch and of that three gallons uh, I will draw off probably maybe a gallon of sludge off the bottom of the tank <laughs>